Welcome back, Bourbon Quest. Listen, it's your host, Bourbon Steve. All right, I decided to shoot another video tonight. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, just coming off the uh, Jack Daniels 10 year old bourbon. Uh, that was unexpected on account of uh, just happened to pick that bottle up on a lucky chance on my way home. And was, but was originally going to try and do some bottle kills tonight, so feeling good. Thought we'd get at it. And these are, I'll just go ahead and tell you, these are not my favorites. And trying to get rid of them, to be honest with you. Basil Hayden, never have been a big fan of. This is the 10 year old uh, Basil Hayden, so. Uh, crafted using a high rye bourbon recipe that makes Basil Hayden's bourbon so unique. This special release is aged 10 years, adding complexity and deeper flavor to an already intriguing spirit. Aged 10 years, as you already saw, 80 proof. Um, aged for 10 years in the foothills of Kentucky, this golden amber bourbon offers a rare take on the Basil Hayden bourbon you love. Featuring big oak aromas with hint of char, vanilla, and rye, the wood flavors are complemented by a perfect balance of caramel sweetness and rye spice. Bottled at a smooth 80 proof, the finish is lightly smoky with a subtle hint of char and a memorable final note for an exceptional spirit. We'll see. I'm calling BS on that, but we'll see. Let's find out, Bourbon Quest. We are going for bottle kills. So, man down. Thank God. So, we have a bottle kill tonight. The old Basil Hayden has met its match. Bourbon Steve. Taking you down. Smack down. Alright, let's see. I mean... We do get some of that more charred oak and stuff on the nose, but light vanilla, caramel, up. maybe a little of that rice spice. I probably wouldn't have picked up any of it. I hadn't just read that. Not enough to matter in my opinion. The well, nose is not bad. It's just um, very, very non-complex alright let's go in for a sip yeah plenty of caramel I'm not getting hardly any spice there might be a faint spice and stuff there but very faint just they are right. It is smooth. It's a, an easy drinker. Um, but, you know, for the price and the proof and no complexity, no, I mean, no finish, no Kentucky hug. I'm, I'm over you, Basil Hayden. We're, we're breaking up. Well, we were never together. I don't even know why I took us up. I guess, you know, you, get, you just got experience your own. Now, I will say, for a beginner or whatever, Basil Hayden is probably fine. I mean, it's 80 proof. It is an easy drinker. It is smooth. I don't, it doesn't offer any complexity. I, I say a high rye mash bill, but I get very little rye on this. So, all right, this is a thumbs down. Um, I don't even remember what I paid for it. I know what regular basil laden is. I think it was about double, probably like 60, 70 bucks. No, 80 proof. I mean, yeah, it's aged 10 years, but I don't get a lot. I didn't, I just did the last video on a 10 year Jack Daniels. You could, you could not only on the nose, but on the palate. Granted it was higher proof, but why don't you do that basil laden? If you're going to put a 10 year, Make it a hundred proof, ninety-five, not hell, ninety something, because it just loses its whatever might have been there. 
I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's just not worth, there's no experience, not worth the money. And that's my review. Thumbs down. Do not buy. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Left my water over here. Apologize about that. Do you need to stay hydrated, my friend. So I apologize. I didn't have that ready for you. But, you know, you got to stay hydrated. That is key. Stay hydrated, my friends. Again, want to say, I know I'm probably beating a dead horse. But I want to just say thank you for subscribing, helping us get to that 100 mark. Next goal is 500. We'll set a time frame on that one. I can put some little more thought into it. But, all right, the other bottle I want to talk about is this is Woodford Reserve, but this is the uh, Kentucky Straight Wheat. This is wheat whiskey. I can tell you I've had this before. It's not good. I like Woodford Reserve, especially the double oak, but the wheat and the malt both are not good. If you want a good malt, get a Chattanooga whiskey. That's some good malt. If you want a good wheat whiskey, get a Maker's Mark or a Weller. Anything but this. Alright. Probably regret this, but it is not good. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can definitely taste the wheat. I mean, it's got a softness, a smoothness on the nose. A little bit of vanilla and caramel, but this is where, from when I've had this before, this is the part. The nose is not terrible, but here's the part I don't like, the taste. It's not quite as bad, I think, because after drinking earlier the Jack and then the Spazoidens, but it's still not good. So this is a thumbs down as well. Stick with the regular Woodford or the Double Oak. Do not get the wheat or the malt. They're, even if that's your thing, wheat and malt, there's a lot better options, I promise you. Um, like I said, if you want wheat, get a Maker's Mark. Get a Weller if you can, you know, can get one of those. Um, put in your comments what's some other weeded bourbons that y'all like or whiskeys, whatever. Um, those are the two that come to top of mind is uh, Maker's and uh, and uh, Weller. Well, the original weeded bourbon, which we did a video on. Did some makers too. Yeah, that's just not good. Not, I will say it's not quite as bad as what I do remember. The mock's horrible. This, there's still better options on the, the for a weeded bourbon um, than the Woodford, in my opinion. Um, Again, all right, that does it. These are two thumbs down on both Basil Hayden 10 year. I don't buy anything Basil Hayden anymore. This was the last bottle of anything Basil Hayden I ever plan on buying, including the new Toasted. It's out, I've passed on it. I think it's, you know, all these gimmicks. Well, yeah, gimmicks. Toasted, marshmallowed, you know, freaking the newest black and will it because you take it and expose it to Metallica for a few months and then take a $60 will it rye and make it $160 after it listens to Metallica for three months maybe you should reduce it $30 and make it a $30 bottle after being exposed to that garbage all right that's a tangent but that's my opinion you're entitled to yours I know if you're a Metallica fan, that probably doesn't sit well with you, but even so, I can't imagine that it does anything to increase the value of the whiskey. 
to be vibrated with heavy metal music. That's my opinion. All right, that does it. These are two thumbs down. Do not buy the Basil Hayden 10 year or the Woodford Reserve Wheat Whiskey. They're not good. Or they're at least better alternatives and options for your hard earned money. I know I work hard for my money. I'm sure you do too. Do not waste it on these products. All right, that wraps it up, Bourbon Quest. Love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Ring that bell, smash that like button, leave a comment, and peace out. Love you. Good night, Bourbon Quest.